Three, two, one, action! Oh my goodness. Hello, it's me, your friendly Kiwi, and I have a tutorial for you about putting together a hood that you've embroidered to a towel to make it into a finished product. So, you're going to start off with a hooded towel. You're going to start off with your hood. And I cut my hoods about 22 inches by about 11 inches. I like to have them twice as long as they are wide. So what I do is I make sure that my center is even. Put it down like that. Keep it nice and flat. And then on my machine, I have a little one here. Do you see that? Oh, no. Okay. I line it up with that because by the time it gets to there, it makes the hood about 10 inches by the time I'm finished. So I line it up with the one, put it down with the design facing out. I go forwards, backwards, forwards, all the way along, and finish. Get a pair of scissors, and I cut nice and close to the edge. Just like that. Next, so you've got a nice tight edge there. Then I'm going to turn it so that the design is facing inwards. Put it back down here again. Sew across. Keeping that edge nice and tight. So now we have a French seam on the hood. So it's nice in there and all the raw edges are there. Okay, so once you've got that, I have it nice and flat here. Then I go to my putting it on a towel. I get the end, there's one side that has a tag. I go to the other end and find the top middle of the towel. And I put a pin right in the middle. Then I lay it across like this so that the fold over part is laid facing down. So this will be the outside of the back of the towel. I grab my hood, I line up the sewing with the pin and then I line up and pin the edge of the hood right up to the edge of the towel when the pins do what they're told. Two more. And one more. All right, so that we've got the back side of the towel, the front side of the towel. I put it onto the machine with the hood facing up on this side. And I sew all the way across. I like to make sure that the fold is folding onto the thin part so there's not too much fold. And then we've got a line of stitching all the way along. I take my pins out. And then I get some scissors. Now what we're going to do is cut off this extra piece that's above the stitching. As close to the stitching as you can while not cutting the towel behind. So I use this finger to hold that towel down and then I cut all the way along. All the way along. When I get to this middle part you just got to be careful because it's going to be tougher to cut and you want to make sure that you're still not getting that towel on the back. So you're going in between, just like that. Just 
so it's all gone throw that away so now you've got a towel that looks like this then you're going to take the towel and the towel goes one way and the hood goes the other way so different than the last time the towels different the hood the is on time. the other side so this is the underside of the towel this is the back of the towel this is the inside back of the towel when you've got it done you're going to make it nice and flat and sew all the way through. Finish it off with a few back and forth stitches and there you have a hooded towel. You've got a nice French seam on this side, a nice French seam on that side, French seam on the middle, and a French seam on the outside. You can go along and clip the top bits like that, and then you are all ready to go with your hooded towel. So I would like to say thanks for watching, and thank you to my son for doing the videoing. What a sweet, sweet boy. I hope it worked out and I will talk to you soon when I do a an embroidery one maybe.